Welcome back to another episode. I was browsing on YouTube and stumbled upon Hot Honey. I've never had Hot Honey in any format and was curious how that would taste. I'm going to attempt to make Hot Honey garlic fried chicken, so let's get started. Alright, so to start, we're going to need some chicken. So in my case, I have here some drumsticks. Um, we're going to start off by covering the chicken in water. Uh, we're going to brine it with salt and sugar. We're going to be making a salty brine, so make sure to put a lot of salt and we're going to let the chicken sit in it for one hour. Make sure to mix the brine and we're going to leave out the chicken for an hour at room temperature. After an hour has passed, it's now time to strain the chicken. In another bowl, we're going to need about 2 cups of cornstarch. We're then going to coat all the chicken in that cornstarch. It should look like this, all fully coated. Okay, so it's now time to fry the chicken. We're going to be double frying the chicken. So the first batch we're going to be frying at 325 degrees Fahrenheit. So we want to fry the chicken at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for 7 minutes. So this is how the chicken should look like after 7 minutes of frying. Then we're going to let the chicken rest for about 10 minutes before we do the second batch of frying. So for the second batch, we're going to be trying to fry between 350 to 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about 7 minutes. We're looking to cook them up. So this is the color we're looking for. We're looking for a dark golden color. Alright, so this is how the chicken looks after they're done frying. Listen to how crispy they are. So in case you're wondering what that brown thing is on the right side of the chicken, um, I was trying to freestyle a side dish. Uh, if you heard about the onion rings, that's my interpretation, my attempt. It doesn't look too good. It looks kind of burnt. So now to make the hot honey, we're going to need one cup of honey. Then we're going to add some chili flakes. Then we're going to add a touch of vinegar. Then we're going to add one spoon of gochujang sauce. This wouldn't be a hot honey garlic fried chicken if there's no garlic. So we're going to add three cloves of garlic. Okay, so our sauce is pretty much done here. Next, we're going to toss the chicken to the sauce. All right, so this is how the hot honey garlic fried chicken and the onion rings looks like on the plate. It doesn't look too bad, right? It's got a nice plate of onion rings and fried chicken. All right, so it's now time to taste this dish and rate from one to 10. The chicken tastes very good, it's very crispy, it's very juicy. At first taste, it tastes exactly like Korean fried chicken. Uh, that must have been from the gochujang. Alright, so here are the freestyle onion rings. Let's see how that tastes like. Absolutely disastrous, it's so bad. It didn't turn out how I imagined. I should really stop eating it. It tastes burnt, an actual 0 out of 10. Do not recommend on the fried onions. So back to the chicken. The chicken itself is good, it's plenty salty from the brine, and the sauce is very basic, so a standard 9 out of 10. Have you had good onion rings? Where do you get your onion rings or make them? Let me know. Anyways, that's all for today. Thank you for passing by.